Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited to show you five different demonstrations of how to use ChatGPT's new image model. I'm going to go through five different demonstrations of fun things you can do using this new image model. And I'm also going to compare it to Nano Banana, which is powered by Google's Gemini image model. If you go to chatgpt.com slash images, there are all these different preset prompts teaching you how you can turn a photograph into a sketch, a holiday portrait, a plushie, a glam doll. There are so many different things you can try out. Also here it says discover something new. You can create a holiday card, create an album cover, and you can also access this page by going to your sidebar here and clicking on images. So you can close your sidebar and you can still access it by clicking images here. The first thing we're going to try out is creating a holiday portrait. So usually people are doing this with pictures of people, but I thought why not make a holiday portrait using a pet? So here's a picture of my sister's adorable senior dog. I plugged that into ChatGPT's new model and it created this. This is just the most adorable thing I've ever seen. This would be perfect as a Christmas card and you can just use your own photo. Here's another one I tried out with this other picture of her. And again, it just blended seamlessly. It looks so beautiful. I actually think this feature works better with pets than with humans. Um, I tried one of myself. Here's a picture of me in France a couple months ago. And then I had that turned into this. Now, I love it because it looks more polished. I mean, this still looks like me, but it's softer. It's given me a bit more makeup. It's fixed my hair. So to do this in ChatGPT, just click here on Holiday Portrait and then click Choose a New Photo. Then just upload whatever photo you want to turn into a Christmas card. In this case, I'm going to try a picture of both dogs. So I'm curious to see what ChatGPT will come up with. But you can see this is the preset prompt that's already ready to go. You don't have to create it yourself. All you have to do is upload the picture and ChatGPT will work its magic. So you can see here it's loading. And you can see that this is what ChatGPT has come up with. I mean, I think it's adorable. I think the better picture you upload, the better result you're going to get. So this wasn't a great picture, it was a bit blurry, a little bit cluttered, but ChatGPT did a great job. So from here, you could even say, let's turn this into a Christmas card, add a border and Merry Christmas in a festive font. And there you have it, adorable. And to download this, just click here on download. So for our second demonstration, we're going to combine two images together. So this is my favorite Christmas movie, Home Alone. I want to replace Kevin with myself. So doing this with ChatGPT's new image model, it produced this, which is pretty good. I actually found that for this demonstration, it was better the result that I got with ChatGPT than it was with Nano Banana. So let me just show you that. So for this, I just made my own prompt. I said, I wanna recreate this poster, but I will replace Kevin. I want my face to make the same shocked face. And then I gave it some more instructions. Now I first added these two pictures of me for reference. However, when ChatGPT first made this, this woman doesn't look like me, okay? So I thought to myself, I'm going to take a couple pictures with my camera of me making the same face as Kevin and try again. So this one doesn't look like me, this looks like a different person. So I tried this prompt again, but this time I gave it a better reference of what I look like when my face is making the same face as Kevin. And this is what ChatGPT came up with, which is much more similar to what I actually look like. So I used this same prompt, the same one as I did here in Google Gemini, which you can try yourself, gemini.google.com. You can see here, I use the exact same prompt, the same information. And to be honest, I'm not a big fan of it. It looks out of proportion. I think ChatGPT did a much better result when it came to this poster. So in our third demo, we're going to do some basic image editing. So I uploaded this image to ChatGPT and I wanted it to look like I was in a winter wonderland. And this is what ChatGPT came up with. So I think this is pretty spectacular. I mean, I know what I look like, so I know this is AI generated, this isn't me, but it's pretty similar. I mean, my nose is the same, my teeth, they've enhanced them, they've made them look even better, but they've maintained the size of my teeth. Something that always happens with me is because I have smaller teeth, most AI image generators will automatically sort of erase my bottom layer of teeth and just give me 
larger teeth on the top, which is not what my smile looks like. And this is my smile. As you can see, they've just enhanced it and made my teeth even whiter. I love how they've done my hair and the coat and the hat and everything else. However, it's just the eyes. I mean, with these AI generated images, there's always something missing like the soul or something with the eyes. So I know these aren't my eyes. It's kind of missing the sparkle. Um, but this would be something really cool that I could combine myself with this image in Photoshop and make some adjustments to merge them together to make this look more like me. So let's do a live demo together. Just add your photo that you want to edit and I'm going to put this prompt here. Can you make it look like I'm at a ski resort, snowy background trees, etc., wearing a winter coat and hat, keep me the same, not changing my face or position, but add a winter hat, feminine colors. And let's just see what it comes up with. So this is what it's come up with. This one's not bad, but again, the eyes, they just don't look like my eyes. The nose does, the mouth does, but there's something about the hat I'm not 100% sure I like. I mean, I think I prefer the last one I showed you rather than this one, but it's still pretty good. Now I did this same prompt with same picture in Google Gemini. And <laughs> I mean, look at this, it's terrible. I mean, it's kept me the same, but it's made this, hat on me, which just looks horrible. It didn't give me a winter coat. The hat is not in proportion with my head. And so then I said, add a winter coat and make my hat smaller. And it just kept the hat the same size and added this winter coat. I mean, this is terrible. What I like about this is it's maintained sort of what I look like with my face and hasn't made me look like I'm some sort of magazine model like ChatGPT, but the rest of it is nowhere near as good as ChatGPT here. I mean, the winter coat, the hat, everything looks, you know, the background, it's so pretty in this image. And this one, it's it's not. So personally, I prefer ChatGPT. And then what I would personally do is I would use Photoshop to merge and clone my face from here onto this image so it looks more like me. In our next demo, we're going to ask ChatGPT to place the people from two different photographs and create a new image. In this case, I decided to use myself plus Sawyer, who I am in love with from Lost, and it created this image. Now, I think it looks pretty good. I can see that this woman looks very similar to me, but of course, I'm me, so I know that this is not me. I mean, the hair is pretty similar, the nose, the mouth, but there's just something that, you know, I can tell this is not me. One thing I recommend you do when you ask ChatGPT to combine people from different images is to give multiple reference images. So we're gonna go and do that together. So this time I'm going to do an image with Cal Drogo from Game of Thrones and then three images of me with my mouth closed. And I want ChatGPT to create a photograph featuring a man in this image alongside the woman. Three reference images are attached. I want the woman to appear as a Viking with Viking style hair and a warrior outfit. She will have a closed mouth with a slight smile. The image has been taken during the Viking age and it should have a vintage style to it. And this is what ChatGPT came up with. I think it looks pretty cool. Cal Drogo looks awesome. I love uh, me in this image. I mean, again, it doesn't look exactly like me, but it's pretty similar. So this is really cool. Let's try this same prompt with these same images in Google Gemini. So this is what Gemini has created. And again, it's pretty good. I mean, I think the head is not really in proportion with the body, but this image does have my nose and my lips. I mean, it's quite similar to me as well. I think I look somewhere in between this girl and this girl. So I think it's pretty good. I would say this picture is probably the winner of the two just because it looks more realistic. I mean, the background and everything else. So, but again, you can just have fun experimenting between the two different um, models. So this last demonstration is great for YouTubers or anyone who needs to create graphics for social media. So I wanted to create a thumbnail for the video you're watching, and this is kind of what I wanted to do. I wanted to have ChatGPT compared with Gemini. So I created this in Canva, but I wanted to know if I uploaded this, if ChatGPT's new image model would fix it for me, would make it look better. And this is what it came up with. The thumbnail that you're seeing in this video is basically what it came up with. I made a few minor edits, but essentially I used it. I mean, this is just incredible. I love how I was able to give it exactly what I wanted, but yet it's added some cool outline and a special effects around the verses and a bit of a glow to both of the images. It's just made it a lot more captivating than this. 
So this is the prompt I used. I just uploaded the thumbnail and said, this is the thumbnail I created for my video. Can you improve it so the colors are more vibrant and more eye-catching? Clickbait, do what you want, but just don't make edits to the people, the colors you can edit, and the text. And this is the first thing it came up with. And I thought this was a little bit overkill. You know, it's a little way too vibrant, too much neon. It looks kind of messy. I wasn't a big fan of that. So I said, let's try again, and this time not as clickbaity looking, but still more viral looking and more polished. It gave me the same thing. I wasn't happy with that. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna try again. So this time I made it very clear that I want the background color to remain shades of blue like the original, but I just wanted some special effects. I want it to be eye-catching, but not over the top. And this is awesome. I mean, I love it. This looked quite dull, you know, it just didn't, look really captivating. And this, on the other hand, is just, yeah, it's exactly what I wanted. I love it. It's so much cleaner than this or this. So let's ask Google Gemini the same thing. We're going to use the same prompt and the same original thumbnail. And very quickly, it came up with this. I mean, not a big fan. It pretty much looks the exact same, except they've made this neon. I don't know why. The verses doesn't really stand out. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this. I mean, compared to this, which looks so awesome, I'm not a big fan. I'm gonna click redo and see if they come up with something better. I think that creating images from scratch can often be better in Google Gemini, but sometimes with editing images that you already have, I just prefer ChatGPT's model. So it really just depends. I mean, this one was a little bit better than the previous one. I like the background, but again, I still just prefer this, I think. ChatGPT did a much better job. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know I've had a lot of fun with it. I really recommend you try making holiday Christmas cards using your pet. That's really fun and perfect this time of year. Make sure to check out ChatGPT to see all the other things that you can do. These are just a few of many things you can do with this new model. If you have any other ideas for freelancers, let me know in the comments below, different prompts you've tried. And I look forward to sharing more with you in my next tutorial.